If you are an anime fan, have you ever wondered who would win out of Goku or Superman? Both beings from another planet who were sent to Earth before the destruction of their own planet and had to live out the beginning of their days living as an Earthling. It's always been a great debate. Who would win out of Superman and Goku? They both have super strength. They both have their own little quirks and strengths about them, but they're just different. Like you got Kal-El, Clark Kent, Superman, who obviously has the biology to obviously has powers that are connected to the sun. He basically can become like a solar battery. And we have Goku who can train and every time he gets near defeated, he gets stronger. But yeah, this is a big, 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 big anime debate. I've been thinking and talking about this topic since I was little. So I know this is a great anime topic, but it's just crazy to think about. They both have similar origin stories. Like I said, both came from another planet and they both are protectors of their new home. Neither Shueisha or DC Comics has came out with a statement about the debate because they know this has been a great debate for years. They never came out with a statement as to who they think would win. So it's just been up in the air speculation. I personally think that it would be a really close fight. Superman has just so many comic feats that it's just hard to really clock in where his cap is. You know what I'm saying? Neither Goku or Superman really have a cap. Like I said, Goku, whenever he's, whenever he's near defeat, he gets stronger. That's like Saiyan's OG number one go-to ability. You've seen that happen countless of times in the show Dragon Ball, but Superman on the other hand, he's so many crazy things in the comics, like pick up the earth and move it around and fly into the sun and just so many different crazy feats. It would be hard to really answer this. And I know it would probably be hard for you guys to answer. So let me know down in the comments who you think will win. Kal-El, Superman, Clark Kent, or Kakarot, Goku from Planet Vegeta. You guys let me know down in the comments. Man, I wanna ask you guys, which do you prefer to watch? Do you prefer to watch your anime in dub or subtitle? Well, I do a variety of both. It really just depends on what I'm watching. If you ask me, um, there is some voice actors for dub that I like. I grew up watching Dragon Ball in dub, so I knew Sean Chamel. If I watch anything Dragon Ball related, it's usually in dub, but I did watch that new, new superheroes movie in sub. I, I watched both. I watched both sub and dub because I watched Dragon Ball Super in subtitles. Battle of Gods, I watched that in dub. So yeah, it's really a variety of both. Naruto, grew up watching that in both as well. Hunter Hunter, I believe I watched that in sub. One Piece, I'm not watching that in dub. So like I said, it's really all over the place with me. I don't really have a specific preference on if I like dub or if I'm just a specific dub fan or if I'm a subtitle fan, but I know people that are strictly subtitle or they are strictly dub, you know what I'm saying? Or they don't like the other one. So you guys let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer to watch dub or do you prefer to watch subtitles? Let me know down in the comments. What is your favorite big three anime? Do you like Naruto? Do you like Bleach? Do you like One Piece? My rankings for this, for these three anime titles is, I grew up watching Naruto, you know what I'm saying? That was the first anime out of the big three that I grew up watching. Um, I got a Naruto hoodie on. Yeah, I grew up watching Naruto. I didn't really get into Bleach until later on. I got into Bleach like maybe about six months ago or so. So it's kind of new for me. Bleach is kind of new, but I did used to always see it growing up. Like I said, I grew up watching Naruto. I used to watch it on Disney XD. Disney XD too, but it also came on Adult Swim, Toonami. And sometimes they would show Bleach and I would watch a couple episodes of Bleach. So I've seen Bleach in the past before. I just never really got into it. I felt like it was too, the story was too complex for me. But one Piece though, I got into that, like I said, two years ago. So that was the one after Naruto that I got into. And then, like I said, Bleach, I got into later. But it's always been a great debate about the big three Shonen. Um, I've been hearing people say, who you think will win, Naruto, Ichigo, or Luffy? Who you think Who you think got that in the back? So y'all let me know in the comments who you think will win, Ichigo, Naruto, or Luffy. Like I said, I always, I started off watching Naruto and later on got into One Piece and then later on got into Bleach. So that's my little chronological order on how I got into those. I personally think my favorite out of the big three personally is Bleach right now because the story I feel like is overall better. But I do believe that Naruto and One Piece has more hype, if that makes sense. Like I grew up watching Naruto, so it's a childhood favorite, but I feel like now that I'm older, I can grasp and understand Bleach a lot more. I fell in love with One Piece too. It's just, I feel like it's very hyped right now. I feel like um, ever since the live action, live action adaptation came out, I just feel like 
more people have gravitated towards one piece and think they know about it oh you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think what's your favorite out of the big three shonen anime bleach one piece or naruto like i said my personal favorite is bleach but i grew up watching naruto so that's how i really got into it and who do i think will win out of the big three i really think that i really think that ichigo got both of them in the bag i think he defeats luffy and ichigo so you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think i'm not gonna go into it because i don't want to you know what i'm saying spoil any of these stories if you guys haven't watched any of them but let me know in the comments who you think will win out of the big three shonen jump anime there's also been a big debate as to what's been the new big three what's the new big three of um let's say 2020 to now the new big three of anime we have shows like jujitsu kaisen my hero demon slayer attack on titan so you guys let me know down in the comments what you think the next big three is i believe it's attack on titan jujitsu kaisen and my hero because those three out of the animes i feel like have the biggest fan bases i feel like they have a bigger fan base i don't know demon slayer is Demon Slayer was doing very well. I just feel like it was one of those animes that was just popular because it was new at the time. But like I said, you guys let me know down in the comments what you think would be the new big three of today. That it used to be Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach. But now that we got these new titles, it's up to debate. So what do you think the new big three is? Naruto's been done. We got the spinoff Boruto from that. Bleach is done as well. We got One Piece finishing up their final work. But it's just like, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? What's the, what's the new big three? Like I said, we got all these new titles. Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, JJK. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Which animation style do you like the best? Do you like the old animation style? Do you like the new 2000s? Like I said in like one of my last videos, do you like the new Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, One Punch Man? Do you like the new Fire Force? Do you like that those type of new like HD styles? Do you miss the old styles like Yu Yu Hakusho, Sailor Moon, Inuyasha? Do you miss that animation style or do you like the new HD popular animation style? Y'all let me know down below. Which is the best power system in anime? You know what I'm saying? Every anime usually has a power ranking system. In Naruto, you got Chakra. Dragon Ball Z, you got Chi. Bleach, you got spiritual pressure. Hunter Hunter, you got Nin. One Piece, you have different things like hockey and gears. And what do you think the best power system is? We got magic from Black Clover. What is, what is it called in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen? But yeah, what do you guys think the best power system is in anime? Like I said, I've been more familiar with the things like Hunter Hunter, Dragon Ball, Naruto. You got Ki, Nin, and Chakra but they all kind of do different things as well so it's like what do you think the best power system is and how do you think those power systems stack up against each other would meliodas be able to use use full counter on something like e dragon's roar from black clover you know what i'm saying since they're both magic and they have that magic power system will they be able to fight or the different types of power systems what do you think was the best one in the best iteration what is your favorite style of main character you either got two different types of main characters when you start an anime you either have the stoic and arrogant type like the hero the hero who doesn't really care about much but his own story and his own journey and adventure or you have the crybaby emotional type type main character and some examples of those would be like i don't know if you guys read or read anything but if you know guts from berserk he is a stoic and you know what I'm saying? Arrogant type main character as to Deku, who is a crybaby, more emotional character. So you guys let me know down in the comments which anime style main character do you like the best? Do you like the arrogant, you know what I'm saying, hero types? Or do you like the crybaby like Aaron Jaeger from Attack on Titan who really thinks about things and takes emotions on another level? Do you like those type of main characters or do you like different style anime characters who have a whole different outlook or a whole different personality say tama versus everyone you, if you haven't heard about the goku and superman debate it's kind of similar we haven't seen him use his full power we've never seen him use his full power so it's just like we don't know who he would stack up against and like the power system thing we don't know how he would affect other universes or different trees. like if he was to jump into the dragon ball world how would he handle up against vegeta or how would he be able to fight goku or got big debates like say tama solos everyone like i don't know you guys let me know in the comments who you think will win say tama or goku 
who you think will win, Saitama or Vegeta, Saitama or Ojo, you know what I'm saying? Saitama or All Might. Saitama could be interchangeable for any character for real because it's really a debate as to somebody that really doesn't have a cap on their power or, you know what I'm saying, somebody very powerful. So y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Does Saitama have it in the bag? Is he overrated? Is he, what do you guys think about One Punch Man and how Saitama fares up against all the other strong goats in the anime universe. I'm not gonna talk your head off today. I just wanted to talk to y'all about some great anime debates that I've been knowing about and thinking about for years. It's just like, I don't really have the answer to these questions. Like who will win out of Goku versus Saitama or Goku versus Superman. It's just good debates that's been around for years that I just wanted to bring to the table. If you don't know who I am, my name's J-Rock. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and subscribe for your boy. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time we drop a video. We'll be posting more often. We'll be posting more frequently. So be looking out for more content. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, I love y'all. I'm not going to talk y'all head off. And I'll see y'all until the next video. You dig?